Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful week. I want to start off with a couple of important need-to-knows. The first one is you need to know that the Easter scavenger hunt is back this year. After a couple years break, we are thrilled to facilitate it on uh, Saturday, April 9th from 11 to 2. It'll kind of be like a open house style where you can come at any point, bring your friends. There will be food trucks and, of course, our festive Easter scavenger hunt on the property. Can't wait for that. That's Saturday, April 9th from 11 to 2 for the Easter scavenger hunt at the farm. And then the second one is just a reminder, please make sure to RSVP for the Timberline Windsor Comedy Night. You can RSVP simply by emailing us saying, I'm attending the Comedy Night with how many people. Uh, Really, really looking forward to that. Can't wait. It's Sunday, April 3rd at 5 p.m. So don't want to miss that. All you have to do, it's free. Uh, We will be offering childcare for the really littles. And and so if you want to attend, just simply email us that you're coming and we're looking forward to that. This weekend, as we begin our sermon series called Mirror, Mirror, reflecting on moments that, that kind of superimpose the work of God, I want to start by recognizing that it's so easy for us to look down on Peter for his denials alongside the fire of Jesus. It's so easy for us to, to look at him and go, what were you thinking? What could possibly compel you to do that? But I want you to start Just by taking some time, consider the reasons Peter denied Jesus. These were real reasons that he was facing, and we're not justifying it, of course. We're not saying his actions were right, but recognize the realness of why Peter would deny Jesus, why he would respond to fear. Maybe that's something that's familiar for us. So consider the reasons Peter denied Jesus. And I want us to take some time to stay with Peter because that's what this whole sermon is about, fire to fire, the redemption that Jesus made possible in his life. I want you to discuss why it seems that we often choose to define people by their greatest mistakes, their worst moments, while God, he doesn't dismiss those moments, but he offers to use them for something redemptive. We tend to define people by their worst moments. God doesn't overlook those moments, doesn't say those moments don't matter, but he takes those moments and he offers redemption through them. Discuss that as well. And then lastly, where has God turned a reflection of a struggle, let's get personal on this one, or a mistake in your life into something redeeming? Allow this to be something that maybe your group goes a little more personal and vulnerable. Where has God taken something that was a mistake or a struggle for you and turned it into redemption? Guys, this this sermon and this whole series is about a God that thankfully doesn't just overlook us and shove things under a rug. He takes our moments and says, let's look at that. Let's know what happened there and let's use that. So wherever you have seen or are seeing despair or struggle or letdown, know that we serve a God that doesn't stay in the agony and the despair of Good Friday, but he's a resurrection God and he's gonna bring, he's faithful to bring resurrection and hope to every situation of despair we we have and we can experience. So let's continue to anticipate that in this lead up to Easter series, the God that brings hope amidst despair, the resurrection God. Love you, have a great week.